you're looking at the existing Tappan Zee Bridge. It's your basic steel construction cantilever type of bridge, built in 1955. The old bridge was designed for about 100,000 vehicles a day. It's up to 150,000 plus vehicles a day. This bridge has probably gone beyond its lifespan by about 20 years. Over the course of its life, it would have paid more to maintain the bridge than to build a new one. We are going to replace it with two twin span cable stay bridges, each one able to handle what the existing bridge can handle. The bridge should be completed in February 2018. The new Tappan Zee Bridge will be a much sleeker, cleaner looking bridge than you can see here now. The new bridge is going to be a cable stayed structure. The main span foundations will be approximately where the existing ones are now. It's three miles long. Uh, we've got 1,100 piles that are vary from three feet in diameter to six feet in diameter. There's uh, approximately 43 piers that we're going to be installing. The piers will have columns. Columns will go up to steel. Structural steel will span approximately 350 feet on the approaches. Meeting at the approach span. The unique part of our design was the capacity of the piles that we used. By going with very high capacity piles, it allowed us to limit the number of piles on the job, which actually saved quite a bit on the construction cost. We had a much lower quantity of dredging than our competitors. We built trestles off the Westchester side and on the Rockland side, and those are allowing us to build the first four piers on each side off of the trestle, so it allows us to work without any cranes on barges, which would have made us actually dredge more material. This was the first design-build project for New York State Thruway Authority and the New York State DOT. One of the main engineering issues that we had on the project was actually, you know, designing it. It's a design-build project. So your typical design-bid-build, the owner hires a designer. There's a long process involved there. In a design-build, like we have here, that entire process is put onto the design construction team. Normally you get a bid build, you already have the drawings and you just build it. So we were able to actually put a lot of our own input into the design. This project is a uh, once in a lifetime type of project. A project of this magnitude that's built from scratch, it's something that you don't normally see in our lifetime. For me personally, it's one that I don't think I'll ever be a part of again and I'm proud to be a part of it.